Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is prophetic intercession with a Mel. You are welcome. Always an honor each time the Lord lays a prophetic word in my heart and I have to share with us. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is not just happening by chance. This is a divine orchestration by God himself for us to cross paths because probably he has a message he wants me to pass across to you or he wants me to, to you know, help you know the mind of God or to pray for you concerning something whatsoever the case may be this is god um, bringing us together so please kindly become a part of our community by subscribing to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh release you are going to be the first to know you will receive a notification and to all our returning subscribers god bless you Thank you so much for stopping by. May God continually use this channel to minister to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They will regret hurting you without knowing you spiritually. They are going to regret their actions massively because it is going to backfire. It will backfire on them. You know the Bible says, um, Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But sometimes these prophets are not known to us. Sometimes people feel like um, to be an anointed of the Lord, there has to be a placard on your head. And so because they don't really know who you are, they take the liberty of hurting you or harming you because they feel like there are no, uh, there are no consequences, there are no repercussions. But you are an anointed of the Lord. And whatsoever anyone does against you, God will fight them. I was speaking with someone yesterday and the person was telling me about how they, 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 they tried to, to um, you know, bring someone to, is it reasoning or to justice and how it backfired. And I told them that person is an anointed of the Lord. The fact that they are not prophets or the fact that they do not, you know, um, um, preach the gospel does not make them any less anointed. Those are people that are loved by God. That is why the Bible says that you should know no man in the flesh. If at all you want to know somebody and know what they are up to and know you want to do not do not judge people from how they look. Always try to know them in the spirit. Pray about people before you attack them. Be very careful because it might backfire. There are people who are loved of God. There are people who has who have a special relationship with God and when you try to fight them, you're fighting God and God will retaliate. A similar thing happened to Daniel, you know. There were people there who did not just like Daniel for whatsoever reason and they plot against Daniel and it was so bad that the evidence against him were really, they were really glaring and the king could not do anything. You know, the, the, the fight against Daniel was against his religion. They were looking for ways to bring him down. And they knew there was really no, no any other avenue to get to Daniel except through his faith and his religion. And so they said nobody should pray. But Daniel is not going to not pray because someone is fighting him. He puts God first. And they, 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 they looked down on the God of Daniel. They did not believe that the God of Daniel could fight back, you know. And so they went to the king and they told him, there was a decree that no one should pray and Daniel has done that. The king really loved Daniel, but there was nothing he could do because there was an evidence against him. And so they threw uh, Daniel into the lions then. But guess what? God shut the mouth of the lion. So much so that the lion looked at Daniel and did not see food. The, the lion looked at Daniel and saw a companion to discuss with in the lion's den. But it did not end there. When the king noticed that the lions did not eat um, Daniel up like it was supposed to, he was marveled. And guess what? The people that plotted to put him there, it backfired on them. If they had known that Daniel is not only an ordinary um, politician, like I would say, or an administrator, like he was in, the, in, in, in Babylon, they would, they would know better than, than to, to attack him. They will know better than to hate him or try to harm him because they will know that his God is active and alive. Anyone that tries to harm you, anyone that tries to hurt you, they do not know that they, they would have to, 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 to reckon with God because God will not let it go unattended. God will not turn a blind eye to the people that are seeking to hurt you, that are seeking to cause you pain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are God's anointed and he delights in you. 
Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.